President Obama has gotten drawn into the birther controversy by none other than the master of publicity himself, Donald Trump. Even in the face of overwhelming evidence, Trump just keeps questioning the president's birth certificate. When asked about Trump's rise in the polls, President Obama said this birther argument will only work for Republicans in the short term. But uh, creates, uh, I think, a problem for them when they want to actually uh, run in a general election where most people feel pretty confident. The president was born where he says he was in Hawaii. He, uh, he doesn't have horns. Pat Buchanan is a former presidential candidate and MSNBC political analyst and Pulitzer Prize winning journalist and publisher Karen Hunter is here as well. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. morning. So there are two schools of thought. Uh, you know, the Donald won't stop talking, so Barack Obama just had to answer him. Or by talking about it, Barack Obama just gives the whole ridiculous argument more credibility. Karen, what do you think? No, I think he has to respond to it because unfortunately it is, is continuing to, to, to raise his ugly little head. And I think it's interesting, Chris, that, you know, President Obama ran against Hillary Clinton. This issue didn't come up during her campaign, and she really wanted to be president of the United States. Why not anonymously float it out then? Then they ran against Palin and McCain, and it didn't come out then. Not to the point where it could have completely torpedoed his campaign. But it didn't. And now it's coming back and it's, and it's gain, gaining all of this attention. And I just, you know, I, I think he had to say something. But can we put it to rest? Well, he, he even joked about the birther thing a little later on last night at a, a DNC fundraiser. Listen to this. I grew up here in Chicago. I, I wasn't born here. <laughs> just want to be clear. I was born in Hawaii. Does this whole thing hurt Republicans, do you think? I mean, he, I thought he handled that really well. Oh, he handled it beautifully, and he handled it even better at the Gridiron Club when he went up there playing Hail to the Chief. And he said, that's not the song I ordered. And out came Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA. <laughs> that's right. It is handled very well, but I think that what Donald is doing this for, clearly he's getting an immense amount of publicity from it and attention from it. I think he's come to believe it because somewhat, because uh, or maybe a great deal, because I've talked to him about it. And, of course, it's vaulted him to number one in the polls. Frankly, Pat, I think you've been in the, the political business a long time. Run? I trust your BS meter, if I may say. You <laughs> think Donald Trump believes this truly? I think he's come to believe some of it. I've talked to him on the uh, on TV after he got into it. I mean, he's called people on the phone and talked for a half hour. I'll tell you, I, what I, one thing I don't understand, and even Chris Matthews was asking, I don't know why the president's people in Hawaii go get the birth certificate. If it's been lost or destroyed, say, look, they lost it or it's been destroyed, it's not there anymore, or if they got the actual one, here it is. It's a non-issue. Yeah. It's a non-issue. All right, let, let me ask you about this radio show comment uh, that Trump was on a radio show talking about whether he was going to run mm -hmm. for president and um, you know President Obama's popularity with African-American voters here's what the Donald had to say I have a great relationship with the blacks I have I've always had a great relationship with the blacks the blacks ah some of my best friends are black oh you people oh that one Donald the, why did you just say all of that the blacks the blacks yeah the black ties the, you know, being in the black, he loves that. Uh, <laughs> no, actually, as one of the blacks, I can tell you clearly, Chris, he does not have a great relationship with the blacks. And you can ask five kids from New York City during the Central Park jogger rapist trial when Donald Trump took out a full page ad calling for the death penalty. He wanted to kill these kids. And it turned out that they were innocent. So if this is the way he's going to run the country, um, mm -hmm. you know, legislating through the media, convicting people through the media, um, I think we're on the verge of idiocracy. Did you see that movie? If I that didn't. Oh, my God. You got to see it. I got to see it. <laughs> All right. So, Pat, is he serious is, or is this just all a big publicity stunt? Well, I think we're going to find out in June. There's no doubt, as I said, he's enjoying himself immensely with this. And he's got very high poll ratings. And we, of course, are covering everything he says and done, does. But I don't find any malice in what he said with that statement yeah, about the black folks. I mean, I'm a Catholic. And he said, I have a great relationship with the Catholics. Well, I don't Pat, think you know it's completely offense. different. It's a completely different dynamic. Give me a break. Well, I mean, what do you think he meant? That he dislikes them, or I no, mean, I don't but, get I mean, where's it's, the it's, malice it's a, in what it's he a said? pandering kind of undermine, uh, kind of uh, you know, pat on the head. Well, you know, it's it's that thing, you people. 
Well, we're not aliens. <laughs> we're, we're, we're Americans. Well, you know, maybe you're hearing something that Donald Trump really didn't say. Well, we will let everyone um, make their uh, own decision about this, but I right. think that you can listen to it, and it's very clear what the Donald had to say. Karen Hunter, Pat Buchanan, I want to thank both of you. You're always you. an interesting pair. Have a great weekend. <laughs>